This week, we're exploring the rainforest in our summer camp classes. I hope you're enjoying yourself. I thought I'd jump on today and do a quick lesson with you. If you don't have the lesson plan for this week, you can get it. The link will be below. It's at my blog or my website. And I hope that you will enjoy this today's kind of a sample of the week of summer learning. Today, T is for toucan. So without further ado, let's head to the classroom. Okay, so here we are in the classroom and it's time for our letter of the day. Today's letter is letter T. And all this week we're exploring the rainforest. Today T is for toucan. A toucan lives in the rainforest. Take a look at this toucan. What colors can you see? I see yellow and red and orange, blue and green. Look at all those beautiful colors. Well, you can decorate your letter T with any of those colors if you'd like to. Or another idea might be to get a craft feather, dip it in some paint, and you can do some feather painting on your letter T. That's what I did here. I just painted letter T using a feather. Okay, so what letter is this that we're decorating? It's letter T, letter T. Now that we can recognize letter T, we'll practice writing it. So here on the side, there's plenty of space for you to practice writing letter T. Or you can use any paper that you'd like to use, or you can even just Listen and skywrite like this. Pretend that you're writing in the sky. So let's practice. I'll show you how to make big letter T. First, you make a line that comes down like that. And then you make a line across the top. All right, that's big T. So let's do it again. So make a line that comes down and then across the top like that. Okay, so down, and then go back and make a line all the way across. Now, some students want to do this, not you, of course, but some students want to make a line over here and then a line over here, but no, 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 no. We're going to do it like this. Make a line that goes down and then come back way over here and then make a line all the way across. That's how you make big letter T. So every letter has two, big and small, big and small, big and small, big and small. This is big T, so now we're gonna practice writing small T. It's almost the same. We're gonna make a line that comes straight down, and then we're gonna make a line that goes across right in the middle. All right, let's do that again. Make a line that goes down and then across. Now, some students, not you, of course, but some students want to make a line over here and line over here. But no, 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 no. We're going to do it like this. Make a line that goes straight down, come way over here, and then make one line that goes all the way across. So that's how you make big T and little t. Let me cheer for you and give you a sticker because I know you are doing a great job listening and learning and practicing. Well, now we can recognize letter T. We know how to write letter T. So next we're gonna talk about the sound that T makes. Letter T makes the sound t, t, t. Can you try? Kind of sounds like a ticking clock. T, t, t. Every letter has a hand motion, and this is the hand motion for letter T. Make your finger go back and forth. T, t, t. Letter T says t, 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 like a ticking clock. When you hear my clock, what does T say? T, 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 like a ticking clock. 
Well, that was our letter, handwriting, and phonics time for today. And now it's time for math. And we have a special surprise today for math. We're going to be coloring by numbers. So this will help us with our number recognition up to five. And it's also just a really fun activity. So everywhere we see number one on the picture, we're going to color that space black. You can get a copy of this Toucan worksheet. The link will be below so you can get a hold of this. Let's find all the number ones. You can point on your screen if you just want to share with me and I'll color it for us. I see a number one right there. Let's color it in black. Do you see another number one? Oh, right down here on his tail. Here's number one. Good job. Can you spot any more number ones? Yes, his wing. His wing has a number one. Good, Good job. And the other wing does too, right over here. There are lots of number ones on this picture. Do you see any more number ones? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, good. Really, all of this, his whole body is number one, isn't it? So let's color all this black. Okay, this is fun. All right, so we found all the number ones. So next we're going to look for the number twos. What color will we color number two? We're going to color number two yellow. Very good, yellow. So look down at the bottom. That's how we can see what color number two, right there. See number two and right beside it is a yellow circle. So we're gonna color number two yellow. Do you see any number twos up here on the picture? Uh, yes, good job, right here. Around his eye, this is number two. So let's color, color, color that part yellow. Okay, so we're gonna do number three next. And what color will number three be? orange. Can you point to number three? Here's number three. Good. Right here on the beak. At the top of his beak, I see a number three. And also at the bottom of his beak, there's another number three. Are there any more number threes? Very good. His toes. Here we go, here's the number three and over here. All right, so next after number three is number four. We're gonna look for number four and what color will we make number four? Green, so can you see any number fours on this picture? Right here, I think all the leaves are four, so let's color the leaves green. Good, good job. Okay, last we're gonna look for number five and what color will we make five? Brown, good job. Okay, so looks like this branch that he's holding onto has the number five on it. So let's color the branch. Okay. Good work, that looks really great. Thanks for helping me color this toucan and you did a great job with number recognition. Okay, well, it is time for us to head over to the art table. We're gonna make a paper plate toucan. Let's go. Okay, so for art today, we're making a paper plate toucan, but if you don't have a paper plate, take a look. It's just a circle. So just cut a circle from any kind of paper. We're actually gonna cut this circle in half. So let me fold it in half. And then cut it in half. So 
So now I have two halves of the paper plate. This half is going to be the toucan's body. That will be his belly. This is going to be his head. So let me show you how we're going to make, how we're going to fix it. So it's going to look like that. This will be the beak, and that's where his eye will go, and that's his body. So we're going to color it before we put it together, though. So let's work on the head first. So right here on this side, we're going to color all this yellow. You could color it orange if you wanted to, but I'm just making mine yellow. And then on this other side over here, I'm going to make it red. Okay, and right here, I'm going to glue an eye. This is going to be the head of my toucan. There's his eye, but you could always draw an eye on if you wanted to. And then I'm going to slide this out of the way and work on his body. So at the very bottom, we're just going to color yellow tail feathers. And then right up here, this all of this part is going to be blue. Okay, so I'm going to take the head and I'm going to glue it right there. And there you have it, a toucan. I have one that's already dry, so I'm just going to switch that out really fast so you can see. There's my paper plate toucan. Okay, well, you can work on your toucan if you'd like to while I read this story. Here's another look at my toucan. And the name of our book today is Birds. You'll even see a toucan on the cover of the book. But this book is about lots of birds. Birds by Jill McDonald. Birds are all around us, soaring in the sky, singing in the trees, hopping on the ground. A, a rooster starts the day with his loud call. A rooster is a boy chicken. A girl chicken is called a hen. Peck, 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 peck. This noisy woodpecker is looking for food inside a tree trunk. A woodpecker's beak is strong and pointy. Quack, 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 quack. A duck swims on the pond with her babies. Paddle, paddle, paddle. A baby duck is called a duckling. Pigeons like to live in the loud city. Honk, honk, beep, beep. Pigeons often build nests on window ledges and bridges. But flamingos love to flock quietly together near the water. Flamingos often stand on one leg. What do you see in the treetops of the warm jungle? It's a toucan with a bright rainbow beak. Toucans make their nests in hollowed out trees. <laughs> Penguins live in the cold. They can't fly, but they love to swim. The penguin can swim faster than any other bird. Ostriches also cannot fly, but they can run, run, run. The ostrich is the world's largest bird. The hummingbird may be tiny, but it flies fast, and it can fly forward and backward. They're called hummingbirds because their fast wings make a humming noise. Peacocks have beautiful colored tail feathers. Only boy peacocks have bright tails. Hoo, hoo. An owl sleeps all day and stays awake at night. Owls can see in the dark. 
Good night, owl. And the end. Well, we made a toucan today for art. And we also learned that letter T says t -t -t, like a ticking clock. Thanks for helping me color by number. I hope you're having a fun week and I hope you'll join me next time. Goodbye.